Greetings, family. I hope that everybody's well and in great standing with this video reaches you. This is El Kali, and I'm coming on here with a video sharing with you about the body butter that I share. Uh, this is the African black soap that I just cut up. And as you can see, the water is still doing its thing. So I'm going to put this in a dark area as soon as I'm done with what I'm doing. But I'm making a series of videos tonight because that's what I feel like doing. And I'm going to come on here and share with you. Uh, my body butter. You can use this for a body um, butter. Um, this is not one I would suggest for hair because of what I'm putting in there. But as well, um, you can adjust it for your liking. Use any kind of butters you want. But these are the two butters that I'm using and the oils that I'm using, okay? So, like I said, I was inspired um, by uh, Nady Nolia's cocoa butter cream, but except, like I said, I didn't like the products and ingredients that was in there. The ingredients that was in there, let's say that. So I have these two containers right here that I'm thinking about putting them in. I don't know which one I'm going to put them in. Okay, so you're going to need some containers. It doesn't matter. You can use old containers. You can use new recent ones. Um, I'm not going to use the honey for this one. Um, as well as I have a plastic foam. I have my measuring cups and, you know, my spatula and all that stuff. I also have some organic extra virgin coconut oil. This is, this one, this brand is by Nutivia. Okay. I'm also going to be using some sweet orange essential oil. Okay. I'm also going to be using some organic shea butter, 100% natural. I bought this at Whole Foods and Whole, Whole Foods sell groceries, something like that. And this is 100% coconut or I mean coconut butter. Both of these are about the same uh, product now, solutions. And I also have some vitamin E here that I'm going to be using. <clears throat> now, you're also going to need a bowl to mix it in as well as some kind of blender. You can do it with your hand but it's better when you blend it. Okay? So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm not going to melt anything. Alright? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my shea butter out. And give me a second. I'm going to get my phone to get it too fast. Alright, so I got my shea butter and I'm probably going to use all of it. Okay. Because it's pretty soft. I'm going to use the majority of it, let's say that. Which, yeah, I'm going to use all of it. And for those of you who are curious about my lip butters, yes, I'm still making them. Uh, I took a break, you know, from making my lip butters and body oils and everything because I had other things that was more priority. So the, for those of you who are interested in my products, I apologize if I haven't gotten back with you about them because I've kind of been on a little hiatus. <laughs> you know, I had to figure some things out. So I apologize. But I will be back on the lip butter soon. I will announce that and I'll let you guys know. And as well, I'll have body oils, body butters, and stuff like that. But I'm coming on here with a DIY. I just thought it would be fun to do. You know, since I did one previously to this video. And... Oh, this shea butter smells pretty good. It kind of smells like, I don't know, it just smells good. And then the color of it, you know, it's not the same yellowish kind that, you know, I do have the yellow kind too. Oh, I might want to grab that. Because <laughs> I might need it, right? I have that kind of shea butter as well. I don't think nothing is wrong with it at all. It's different, but it's not bad. So, all right, I've already 
already got my shea butter together. So it's in here like this. Okay. And it's pretty warm in here, so it might start milk by itself. So now I'm getting my coconut my cocoa butter. I don't know why I want to say coconut butter, right? Coconut cocoa butter is a little harder than the shea butter. So I don't know how this is gonna work out over here blending, but we'll see. Uh, now you don't have to add extra shea butter but I'm going to and again you guys I'm just eyeballing this I'll put all the ingredients that I whoo, are using on the description in the description box down below Oh, I do not like. Do you look at this cocoa butter? I should have did this before I came on camera, but it's all good. I just scrape what I need out. Oh, I keep pushing it forward all over me. <laughs> and I cleaned off my work area, you guys, so. I mean, I cleaned it off from the last time. So I'm trying to get it out here. I'm going to show you in a minute what it's looking like down here. I'm just trying to get it out. This one is a little bit more firmer. Not a little bit. It's a lot more firmer than the shea butter was. And it's supposed to be a mainly coconut, I mean coconut, why do I keep saying coconut, cocoa butter uh, mixture, if I can only get it out. <laughs> oh boy, it's pretty hard. So, hopefully I can mix this up without having to melt it. Because if I have to melt it, then you guys, you know I'm going to have to stop this video. I don't like wasting anything. Alright. Let me clean this area up. Okay. Alright, so here's what it looks like. I don't know if you, you can see that or not, but here's what it looks like with this. With the coconut. I mean cocoa butter in there, okay? Those flakes of the cocoa butter, it's kind of yellow, like a darker yellow. You can't really see it. And it feels great on the skin. Oh my goodness. You probably can't see that, but it's just it feels so awesome on the skin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of cocoa coconut oil by Notivia. Okay, just a little to make it a little smooth. I'm saying just a little. This is more than just a little, you guys. I love coconut oil, by the way. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. And this is by Nutivia. Okay, we're getting extra virgin. And so this is what they look like in there. Okay. Can see that? I don't know how well you can see that or what, but that's in there. So, excuse the noise, but I'm going to use my mixer to just mix. And it may get messy, I don't know. But we just mix it for now. And I'm just using 
pieces of one side of the mixer so it won't get so messy. It doesn't have as much truffle butter as the Nadine Olea one, but it'll suffice. And I'm just getting all the ones off the side and excuse the, the noise. I'll try to mask over it. I'll see what I can do with it. And I'm directly uploading it, so I'll see. <laughs> But you know what, this is a little bit too much for just um, the one. So I'm going to go ahead and add the second one because i got to get these chunks, uh, you know, all broken up. And both of them together are going to get the chunks right now.
like to turn it on high so that um I can get the rest of the most of it. But I'm going to show you. I'm not done because I still have chunks. But I'm going to show you what it looks like now. This is what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to show you. Let me stick my spoon in there. So. And it's just a, a couple of big chunks of cocoa butter that I got in there that just won't give. Can y'all see that? You see the consistency of it? I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. But I'm going to get these chunks down. And I'm going to show you how it looks in my next video. When I show you um, how I'm going to make my hair butter. But this is the one for my body. Okay. I got to try to get a couple more chunks out of here. But what you would want to do at this point. Once it's smooth, you want to add your uh, essential oil of your choice. I'm going to use sweet orange oil. And you want to use, like, I say maybe between five to six drops, depending on how big of a batch you're going to use. With this, I'm going to use, like, five to six drops. So i got to get the rest of my uh, lumps out of here. And on the next video, I will show you how it looks once you put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. Again, I have a couple of lumps I have to get out of there, like this one, because you just so fall. Yeah, I don't know if you hear that, but I got to get that out of there. I got to get it broke down some kind of way, you know. But uh, I will show you guys that on the next video. And thank you for watching. Those of you who are watched, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have a recipe, I would love to, to know what, what you use for your body. Um, you know, if you have any, uh, you know, homemade recipes, share it with us. I would love to know what, what your homemade recipes is. So, uh, again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And uh, uh, comment and um, leave a message if you want to. You know, if you like this video, thumbs up. Thank you. And later.